welcome to a very uh, like bahut kaat samay milde ne idhar ye season currently and it's a very rare kind of opportunity to see this artist even sit amongst us because he's a, an amazing artist i've had the opportunity to work with him as well so i want to welcome the one and only dr satinder sartaji into the room <laughs> ब्रिटेन फॉर मी Of course. Yeah. How how are you doing? It's been a long time we've seen you in the UK do something like this. Because of pandemic yeah, but uh, even the pandemic uh, was a blessing I would rather reckon that during that lockdown that I never consider as a lockdown because I was safe in my house. <laughs> so uh I wrote like 170 songs with wow. compositions. So it was the most fertile year in my entire life. So I would consider it as a blessing probably. You haven't had such a big break so it was probably a nice break as well for it you. Was, yeah. yeah. Obviously we're here to uh celebrate and talk about your next release which is oh, Nada okay? Jahivas. Yeah. Um and how Well, tell me more about the song tell us more about what's the project that song it is called nadan jehias is in punjabi the title meaning is a naive hope so this is the most precious content grounded and fulfilled emotional whatever thing you can give the adjective to uh is is the most special song for me till date that i ever have written so in last december we flew specially to united kingdom and uh, luckily fortunately we got the chance to shot it in the royal albert hall in its 150th anniversary celebration year and uh, i'm so glad honored privileged for that despite that there is one more special thing that the female protagonist in that is uh has the thing it is called vitiligo if you have heard about so our motive is to make people aware that this is not a disease this is just a common thing so i think uh, it is the very first time in especially in indian music videos history that someone in like that is portraying as the lead in a music video because entertaining is something else putting a social uh effort for something unique something great it is it is beyond your you know financial gatherings and etc etc so i am so much proud of that yeah product and project the royal albert hall yeah. um nobody's ever shot a music video there no that it is it, first time in their 150 a 100 years of history and we and need to give a round of applause <laughs> how how was it shooting there what was the the vibe the the, the atmosphere the the it, time on set how was it it was very mystical very nostalgic also because we performed there on 2nd of may 2014 but i never have seen the empty wall of it cause you know mtc is the red color <laughs> so i sat there i tried to breathe normally and feel the aroma of it because i adore history more than anything it was built in 1892 when maharaja dalip singh was alive and queen victoria was there he was used to live in buckingham palace so those kind of connections i have so i felt like how it was like in those years 
how many, you know, British imperialism and monarchy and sovereign mm -hmm. sitting there listening to some British classical music, etc, etc. So there's, there's so much to grasp. So the songs have always had this impact on our society or whether it's uh, in a way of just being a meditating kind of music. I always take it like that. Okay. Um, I mean, Udariya, our song was very romantic, mm -hmm. but it turned out to be a soulful song as well at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in Sufism, there's always a path from Ishke Mizaji to Ishke Hakiki. This is the same thing you were talking about. Yeah. When a soulful, romantic song, like you, you are glued with it and you are listening it repeatedly, continuously, and you are feeling some subliminal state of mind, you know, transcends to somewhere else then that's the way you connect to the nature, that's the way you connect to the Almighty. This is, I think, even in our religion, even Sri Bhagavan said, they said, Ik kadi na milte ta kal yug hota hun kad milye priyatud bhagavanta muhirayn na vihave nid na avi bindi ki gurdar bari diyo. This is the same path as the Sufism and I think this is the most profound path Of course, of yes. course. So, coming back to my question, you've had, you've openly talked about the farmers' protests, you've openly talked about any crisis that's gone on, whether it was COVID, the pandemic, and you had a beautiful song that came out on it as well. Um, now you're doing, you're touching up on the issues in society. Do you think this is going to have an impact on our industry, for sure, Punjabi music or it Indian does. music? It already does, look, because these th before two years, I was very isolated kind of person I'm in my house or just touring abroad in my contemporary musicians and all I never met them recently I joined gym so you know they used to meet me and they actually then I felt the warmth they have for me and I said oh my god I was so kind of you know uh, away from this then we talked about it and they told me their true emotions. Paji, you see, you whatever, you do want to do it, but you do want to listen to people, this and that, you know. They do have that intention. They are not bad people at all, I'm telling you. <laughs> but somehow, you know, whatever is working, they are portraying that kind of thing. Mm. So, we as artists and we as audience, I'm not saying it is a burden or it is the ethical uh, responsibility. This is just a common thing, common intention we should have that whatever we are doing, it should be rather it's a neutral impact, rather it's a positive impact it should have, but try not to be a negative uh, impression of course. on society. A, a very interesting thing there. I remember in one of your interviews you said that, and when I first met you, I had this perception that you're like a godlike figure. Almost. Graciousness. I mean, <laughs> and I was scared to even say it out, you know? But when we met, when we, when we worked for so long, it was you were normal, you know? I am normal. <laughs> yeah. And then in one of your um, interviews, you yeah. mentioned that, you know, there's this perception that people look at you differently they approach you differently they do <laughs> why do you think that is? is is that because of your music i think firstly it is because of my attire yeah the stage attire it is very kind of mystic the sawuf numa sufiana and somehow it, it looks very semi-religious kind of thing somehow probably so they take you as a semi-religious figure mm. But slightly, slowly, slowly, even last night, I know mm, no one saw you probably be there last night. But I was very naughty on stage. Not purposely. But I have to be like the public case. So, you know, there are so many youngsters. Previously, like four years ago in the United Kingdom, only 35 plus audience was mine. Under that, it is like, no, 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 Stendhasa is so boring, <laughs> you know, and it is very much understandable. Like for that, if someone is 17, 18 and, you know, born and brought up here, they are living an entirely different diaspora, what we are. 
So if I'm singing about Zikr Tera, Admi, Ammi, and they will say, this is my mom or father kind of music. I can't listen to it. But our recent tour, rejuvenation tour of North America, especially Canada, it was totally 360 changed. 95% was, you know, 18, 19, 20 students. So they were like enthralling electric. They were shouting, dancing. And we were amazed, happily amazed. Like, okay, our community, especially our generation is connecting with us somehow. So I have to be little like them too. Yeah. I have to give them that impression that I am I'm part of you yeah. as as <laughs> I have given to you too. So yeah. So I think it is uh it is great. Even last night in Leicester, many youngsters were there. Mm. And I purposely forcefully sang some tough musical results <laughs> to see how they spawned. Mm -hmm. You know, so last night my first song was unrecorded version song and it was a very poetic so but in in between i said jagat tusi bore hoye das deo keh deo bhai ye nahi changa yaar band karo bore ka so i am giving them that freedom liberation that we are equal you can tell anything you can say me anything but i will come into your mind because i am here because of you it is not my own ability being a single individual self, if you are asking me one true opinion about musician or being human, like be your own pure self, if you can. I have washed my entire information, whatever I have gathered during my education, rather it's musical, rather it's poetic, rather it's historical, rather it's social. Now, if you are asking me anything, I will give you my own single version opinion about it. Nothing is like what Rumi has said about it, what, what Aristotle has said about it, what whoever have said about this particular thing. Yes, they have said it profoundly, beautifully. But in that era, if you were in the 14th century, 15th or 16th, the social aspects were different. Now we are in a different atmosphere. This is the era of social media. You have to act accordingly. You have to give your opinion accordingly. So, uh, I think my only strength is that I am the purest form of my own self. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Uh, Adding on to that question, you know what? I've always wanted to ask you this. I think we've met so many times, but I've never asked you this. What is the meaning of life for you? The meaning of life... Let me tell you one thing. I, the question was slightly <coughs> altered. I was asking, I was used to ask my entire friend circle, what is life? So what is the meaning of life is the same yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> so I think for me, if you're asking one word, if you have to vanish life and put another word, respect that, that's balance. You have to balance everything. There's nothing like, okay, I am like this. That's it. This is not life. In some aspect, you could be so loud. In other aspect, you could be so like subtle, underplaying. So it is all about balancing your emotion, balancing your action, balancing your reactions, balancing your everything. It is called life for me. And do you think you're a very balanced person oh. in life? Oh my God. I'm, I think the most settled soul. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am. Uh, nothing is changing me. Like whatever happening, I'm as it is. The example, if you are asking me, in Abbotsford, British Columbia, Canada, it was 5,000 people arena full with people energy, massive ecstatic energy, and they were adoring you, you were singing. Next day, it was 250 people in Victoria, the capital of British Columbia, Canada, and I sang more energetically. So that is giving, that doesn't matter whatever the amount of audience, whatever the scenario, whatever the size of the arena, 
you are being poet, a composer, a singer, a performer is the same. Of course, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> कबूल कर शुरू कर दी ताकत बन जाए we are on 21st so jehdiya cheeza honne ohna da impression 1000% tode te hona hi hona hai jadon tusi ohnu kabool kar loge main recently ek main gana likhya california gaya sega ke internet de utte kinne khush ne log shala eh ho khushiyan asli hi ho ban eh zindagi da hissa ban gaya mannde ha koshish karyo haase is bin vi ho ban tusi kadi vi dekhyo even ਜਦੋਂ ਰਾਜ ਨੇ ਕੋਈ ਰੀਲ ਬਣਾਉਣੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਐ ਪੂਰੀ ਬਲੌਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਠੀਕ ਆ ਜੀ ਯਾਰ ਹਾਸ ਰਹੀ ਐ ਇਹਦੀ ਭੈਣ ਬਣਾ ਰਹੀ ਹੋਣੀ ਐ ਬਾਅਦ ਚ ਇਹਦੇ ਉਸੇ ਵੇਲੇ ਲਾਵਾਂ ਜੂ ਤੂੰ ਸੇ ਕਿ ਬਣਾਈ ਕੀ ਤੂੰ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਠੀਕ ਐ ਸੋ ਸਿਰਫ ਇੰਸਟਾਗ੍ਰam ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਰੀਲਸ ਆ ਵਟ ਐਵਰ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਹੈਗਾ ਪਾਉਣ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਅਸੀਂ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਉਹ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਉਹ ਸਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਇੱਕ ਡਿਸਪਲੇ ਆ ਸੌਰੀ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਟਰੇ ਕਰਨਾ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਔਨ ਦੀ ਐਕਸਟੈਟਿਕ ਸਟੇਟ ਆਫ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਪਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਿਓ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਅਗਰ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਸੈਲਫੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਵੀ ਖਿੱਚਣੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਰੀਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਵੀ ਬਣਾਉਣੀ ਉਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰੋ ਉਹਨੇ ਹੀ ਕੰਟੈਂਟ ਉਹਨੇ ਹੀ ਸੈਟਲ ਉਹਨੇ ਹੀ ਹੈਪੀ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਰੋ ਰੱਬ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਕਰੇ ਕਿ ਕੱਲ ਨੂੰ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਬੰਦ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਫਿਰ ਕੀ ਕਰੋਗੇ ਹਨਾ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕੰਟੈਂਟਮੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਉਹ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਇਨਰ ਚ ਆਣੀ ਆ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਲਈ ਆਣੀ ਆ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਸਕਸੈਸ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਪੁੱਛੋ ਜਦੋਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਕਿ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਲਾਈਫ and also asked me what is the meaning of success figure is success ye nahi hai ki tusi hun main tusi britain ch baithe ho the wealthiest indian is the hinduja family o oh, mere aadiya wangu dost ne prakash hinduja ji te mere to de loke ne 85 saal de hone te main ohna nal jadon baithda te main ohna to ye nahi sikhya ki yaar inne wealthy kidda hona te inne paise kidda kamaune e sikhya ki inne wealthy ho ke bhi tade jehdiyan cheezan ne na oh bahut hi grounded level de ne todiyan khushiyan bhi hoye ne ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਹਾਸੇ ਵੀ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਦੁੱਖ ਵੀ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਜੋ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਹੋ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਫਾਈਨੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲੀ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਹੋ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਸੋਸ਼ੀਅਲੀ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਕੁਝ ਵੀ ਆ ਉਸ ਚੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਐਕਸੈਪਟ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਚੈਰਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰੋ ਮੇਰੀ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਐਨ ਆਰਟਿਸਟ ਸਕਸੈਸ ਪਤਾ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਮੇਰਾ ਜੋ ਦਿਲ ਕਰਦਾ ਲਿਖਦਾ ਜੋ ਦਿਲ ਕਰਦਾ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਕਰਦਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਜੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਰਿਲੀਜ਼ ਕਰਦਾ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਜੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਕਰਦਾ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਜੀ ਕਰਦਾ ਫਿਲਮ ਕਰਦਾ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਕਾਲ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਮਾਈ uh opinion or ki kande hunde a perception about success har ek bande di apni apni ho sakdi hai par jehdi cheez tanu appeal kardi hai je possible ho sakda ho karan di koshish kare ko rather than any pressure ke acha yaar nahi nahi aa nahi karna aa nahi karna edda ho jayega edda ho jayega edda ho jayega so thoda ja apne aap di zindagi jadon in self tusi jeevna shuru kar doge na te ho sakda tade success de dusre measurement jehdi ki kande hunde views and sectors and likes and comments bhaave kat janenge ਪਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੰਨੇ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਬਲੌਸਮਿੰਗ ਸਟੇਟ ਆਫ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਸ਼ਰਾਣਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰ ਦੋਗੇ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਲੱਗੇ ਯਾਰ ਆਹ ਤੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਐਸਪੈਕਟ ਕਿਤੇ ਖਾਲੀ ਪਿਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਜਦ ਲੁਕਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਸੀਗਾ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਨਾ ਜੇਕਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਹੋ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਦਾ ਯੂਥ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਜੁੜਿਆ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੇ ਯੂਥ ਦੀ ਇਹ ਇਹਨੂੰ ਨਾ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਮਜ਼ੋਰੀ ਸਮਝੋ ਨਾ ਹੀ ਗਲਤ ਹੀ ਆ ਠੀਕ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜੇ ਜੈਨੂਨਲੀ ਮੈਂ ਗਾਣਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੇ ਗਾਣੇ ਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੁਣਦਾ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਮੇਰਾ ਫੇਲੀਅਰ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਠੀਕ ਆ ਨਾ ਇਹਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਗਾਣੇ ਚ ਉਹ ਸਟਰੈਂਥ ਜਾਂ ਉਹ ਅਲੂਰਿੰਗ ਜਾਂ ਕੈਪਟੀਵੇਟਿੰਗ ਐਲੀਮੈਂਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਨੂੰ ਅਟਰੈਕਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਜੇ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਉਹ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਊਗਾ ਉੱਥੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਉਹ
ਉਹ ਨਹੀਂ ਉਹਦੀਆਂ ਕੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਫਰੈਂਚਾਈਜ਼ੀ ਫਰੈਂਚਾਈਜ਼ੀਜ਼ ਦੇ ਤੇ ਦੁਬਈ ਵੀ ਬੰਬਈ ਵੀ ਤੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਆਪ ਤਾਂ ਬਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਟੇਸਟ ਆਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਬਣਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਹਨਾ ਸੋ ਜੇਕਰ ਮੈਂ ਖੋਲ ਵੀ ਦੂੰਗਾ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਉੱਥੇ ਆਪ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਉਹਦਾ ਸ਼ਾਇਦ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਨਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਤੇ ਜੇ ਮੈਂ ਸਿਰਫ ਉੱਥੇ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਗਲੋਬਲ ਡਾਇਸਪੋਰ ਆਫ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਜਾਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਸਟੇਜ ਤੇ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਲਾਰਜਰ ਸਕੇਲ ਤੇ ਇੰਟਰੈਕਟ ਤੇ ਕਨੈਕਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਉਹ ਘਟ ਜਾਣਾ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਤੁਹਾਡੀਆਂ ਆਪਣੀਆਂ ਟੇਕਿੰਗਸ ਹੋਣੀਆਂ ਚਾਹੀਦੀਆਂ ਕਿ ਹਾਊ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਦੀ ਪਾਰਟ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਥਿੰਗ ਇਟਸ ਬ੍ਰਿਲੀਅੰਟ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫॉर ਯਰ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫॉर ਯਰ ਆਨਸਰ ਮੇਰਾ ਆਖਰੀ ਸਵਾਲ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਤੋਂ ਇਹ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਕਿ ਸਤਿੰਦਰ ਸਰਤਾਜ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੀ ਆਸ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਚਾਹੇ ਉਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਤੋਂ ਆ ਚਾਹੇ ਉਹ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਚੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਕੁਝ ਹਾਸਲ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਮੁਕਾਮ ਹਾਸਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਬਟ ਹੁਣ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦੀ ਇੱਕ ਆਸ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਗੀਤ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਵੀ ਨਾਦਾਨ ਜੀ ਆਸ ਸਤਿੰਦਰ ਸਰਤਾਜ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਨਾਦਾਨ ਜੀ ਆਸ ਹੈ ਦੇਖੋ ਆਸ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਨਾਦਾਨ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੀ ਤਾਂ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗਾ ਤੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਨਾ ਪਤਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਸਭ ਤੋਂ ਖੂਬਸੂਰਤ ਚੀਜ਼ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਸਫਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਾ ਦਿਲੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਫਰਾਕ ਦਿਲੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਖੁਸ਼ ਦਿਲੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੰਜੋਏ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨ ਮੰਜ਼ਿਲ ਦੀ ਜਾਂ ਡੈਸਟੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਤਾਂਗ ਹੋਵੇ ਖਾਇਸ਼ ਹੋਵੇ ਪਰ ਲਸਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਣੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਤੇ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਆਈ ਲਿਵ ਮੇਰੀ ਕੋਈ ਖਾਇਸ਼ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਮੇਰੀ ਕੋਈ ਆਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਆਈ ਜਸਟ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਬੀ you know in the flowing state of living hmm. ki acha jithe vi ho ki achar e vi theek hai chahe thodi gaddi tanch ho gayi chalo koi nahi less enjoy the you know ala <laughs> dwaran enjoy karde hain this and that so jadon tusi cheeza nu idda lehan lag jande ha te fir mainu lagda ki oh sari cheeza na settled in honiyan shuru ho jandiyan balance honiyan shuru ho jandiyan fir cheeza apne aap boxes de vich pehne shuru ho gayiyan ਤੇ ਉਹ ਐਫਰਟਲੈਸਲੀ ਹੋਣੀਆਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋ ਗਈਆਂ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਐਫਰਟ ਦਿਸੂਗਾ ਨਾ ਉਹ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਇੰਪਰੈਸਿਵ ਜਾਂ ਇਫੈਕਟਿਵ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਊਗਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਐਫਰਟਲੈਸਲੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਕਿ ਯਾਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਯਾਰ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਬਿਊਟੀ ਰਾ ਬਿਊਟੀ ਜਾਂ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਅਲੂਰਿੰਗ ਤੇ ਅਟਰੈਕਟਿਵ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਰਾਦਰ ਦੈਨ ਮੇਕਿੰਗ ਇਟ ਆ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊ ਦ ਲਾਈਫ ਇਸ ਆਲਸੋ ਓ ਲਾਵਾਂ ਇਸ਼ਕ ਦੇ ਉਂਬਰੀ ਉਡਾਰੀਆਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਿਆਰ ਦੀਆਂ ਚੜੀਆਂ ਖੁਮਾਰੀਆਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਿਆਰ ਦੀਆਂ ਚੜੀਆਂ ਖੁਮਾਰੀਆਂ ਓ ਮੇਰੇ ਪੈਰ ਨਾ ਜ਼ਮੀਨ ਉੱਤੇ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਪੈਰ ਨਾ ਜ਼ਮੀਨ ਉੱਤੇ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਅਲਖਾ ਚਸ਼ਮੇ ਮੁਹੱਬਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਰਾਤੀ ਮਿੱਠੇ ਮਿੱਠੇ ਸੁਫਨੇ ਵੀ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਨਾ ਗੱਲ ਮੇਰੇ ਰਸ ਦੀ ਰਹੀ ਨਾ ਗੱਲ ਮੇਰੇ ਵਸ ਦੀ ਰਹੀ ਉਹ ਕਿਸੇ ਅਸੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਬਾਹਾਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤੱਕਿਆ ਅਸੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਬਾਹਾਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤੱਕਿਆ ਆ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋਏ ਵੀ ਨਾ ਦਿਲ ਰੁਕ ਸਕਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਪੈਰ ਵਿਚ ਕੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਨਾ ਗੱਲ ਮੇਰੇ ਵਸ ਦੀ ਰਹੀ ਨਾ ਗੱਲ ਮੇਰੇ ਵਸ ਦੀ ਰਹੀ